So Khloe Kardashian, okay? I warned her. You guys have seen me tell this girl to leave this man. And over the weekend, allegations came out. I saw them on the neighborhood talk. Kyle, shout out to Kyle. It said that he had dipped off at a party with these girls or whatever. I don't know. We're going to get into that. But Chloe went on to talk about not receiving this apology from Jordan Woods over the Tristan Thompson scandal. She's still talking about not getting an apology. And it's pissing Black people off. I, I, I want to become a consultant to the Kardashians because nobody's telling them that when you talk, think about Black women. Because the black women are eating their asses up on the internet. Because the Kardashians recently unpacked a lot on part two of the Keeping Up With Kardashians reunion. They sat down with Andy Cohen. They had a whole conversation. And both Chloe and Kylie talked about where they stood with Jordan. You remember Kylie Jenner, uh, Chloe's sister, she was the person who Jordan lived in her backyard. It was Jordan, the hose, and the garden tools. They lived in a little house in the backyard. Well, Jordan was put out and evicted by Kylie when she tried to sleep with, well, how do we say this? Allegedly. We need to fix the sound effects because I don't know, it's going, it sounds like it's underwater. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, uh, you know, she got evicted by, she got evicted by Kylie when Chloe called her up and said, girl, this hoe was touching on my man or something. You know what I mean? And that came after I called her and told her. Now, I tried to be friends with Chloe because I, I felt bad for her, even though I should have felt bad for Jordan because the Kardashians have done this to every other girl. I'm not even going to push allegedly because, you know, you saw what they did to Trina. Black China. Damn. They done this shit a lot, huh? Well, either way, I thought me and Chloe was cool. Exchanging numbers, texting on the side, this, 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 and that. You know, I thought we was go I thought that was going to be my Judy. And then they used me up until they got Jordan all the way near the grave. And then she changed her number and got back with Tristan Thompson. So I thought I was used. I've been very vocal about feeling used. I have recently reached out and talked to the Kardashians team. And I told them I want to sit down with Chloe. And I know we're working on something. So I hope we can get this interview. Because, Chloe, I have questions that I want to ask. But I'm, I'm happy that now you are coming to terms with reality. And we're going to get into that. But first, let's talk about what happened at the reunion. They sat down with Andy Cohen. They had a conversation about Tristan. And this is what was said. Take a look. Matilda from Kansas City wants to know why you haven't given the same pass to Jordan as you did to Tristan. I mean, I'm really happy to hear that question because I think that's a huge misconception. I have, and that's also the thing where some narratives aren't as fun to pass around and spread like wildfire. I've actually tweeted, I've actually done Insta stories. I don't have any grudge against Jordan. I think people make mistakes, people live and they learn, and I forgive both parties. How could I forgive Tristan and not Jordan? That sounds, you know, asinine in my you opinion. You do forgive her. I forgive Jordan, but because, or else I would be a prisoner in my life. I have to forgive these people for me, and it's up to them to forgive themselves. Now, let me, before I get further into what happened, let me be very clear. If you sleep with my man if you kiss him if you in a drunk moment touch his ass or rub on his penis or tell him he's beautiful hold on because i'm getting upset and i don't even have a man i have no reason to get upset but i'm getting upset thinking about this i'm gonna fuck you up i'm gonna fuck you up your kids if they had daycare bitch they may they... i have an issue with people who involve themselves in other people's relationships. Now, I'm not going to say I've never fucked nobody's boyfriend. That was back in the day before I had self-respect. You know, I was overweight and needed the confidence booster and you wanted me, you know? But either way, I, I personally think people should keep their hands off of other people's men. So they, they continue talking. And now speaking out about our ex-BFF, Kylie explained Quote, when we were friends, we never thought that we wouldn't be friends. It was kind of like an overnight thing. And when she did something to my family, it felt like she did something to me. And remember, the whole Kardashians had threw her under the bus. I mean, Jordan took a hit. It wasn't until Jada Pinkett stood up for her and had her back. But that was around the time Jada Pinkett's back was getting blown out by August Alsina. Now, I feel, you know, I said this before. You can't go to the red table. You got to come to the red table. And she did. But that was fake, too. Anyway, congratulations, Jada, on your Emmy nomination. You're clearly doing better than me. But anyway, 
Chloe admitted that she's forgiven Jordan for kissing Tristan, but hasn't received an apology. And people did not like what she said. Look. He apologized to you personally? No. No. You think she'll ever be invited back into your the inner circle of the family? I have told Kylie um, intimately that I would genuinely not care whatsoever if Kylie wants to be her friend again. I, My sisters matter way more to me than any grudge or issue that I would have with another individual. And if I can allow Tristan back into my life, I need to allow the same forgiveness and acceptance of other people. And if Kylie, Kylie has... We've had these conversations. If Kylie wants We've had a lot of conversations. Jordan to be her friend, that's up to Kylie. No, no, no. I believe life does not go in reverse. I've said that many times. When you kick a bitch out the click, she don't get to come back. Whether you're a mean girl or you're not, I think at this time you're doing at this point, you're doing community service. When a bitch gets kicked out, a bitch stays out. But is that right? I don't know. Maybe sometimes you give somebody a second chance. Maybe somebody learns their lesson, Bigo, and then you give them a second chance. But I don't know. Because even though Chloe kept the PG, Kim Kardashian, baby, you know, that's a, <laughs> that's the girl that started all this. That pussy put them all on. She was not, she was not here for it. The thing I love about Kim, Kim is gonna always keep it G. Kim Kardashian, no more Wes, said this. You know, I'm gonna keep it real. Tristan has a baby with Chloe. So they, Tristan will always be in our lives one right. way or the other. That's if a girl thinking. was, if anyone else came in this situation, I wouldn't choose to want to spend all my extra time. I get it. Like Tristan's family, we have to always like keep it cool. Always like keep it cool. There's a baby involved. So if there's no babies involved and shit goes down, like, sorry. You know, and the thing I love about Kim is that Kim is when she okay. First of all, when any woman says keep it real, you know that's what they're about to do, right? Anytime a woman says keep it real, that's exactly what the fuck they're about to do. And so when Kim said keep it real, we knew that's what it was gonna be. Now, after the reunion aired, news broke that Chloe and Tristan have called it quits. Now I sat right here on the show and told y'all, I told y'all that the Kardashians were not here for it and that Tristan would not leave, would not win, right? I told you he was gonna leave. And so this came after reports happened that Tristan was at a party and was seen spotted with some girls in a bathroom or somewhere where he wasn't supposed to be, right? He was in a room with three women. You didn't even want one. Three women. But I've said to you many times before, Tristan has a sex problem. He has a sex addiction problem. And when you have a sex addiction problem, this is what you do. You act out. Now, uh, they said that he was uh, that Thompson was spotted dining with the Kardashians and their daughter, True. Now, anyway, an eyewitness said that Tristan took off into one of the party rooms where everyone was to hook up. And he was with three women and another guy. So there must have been a choo choo. OK. So did Chloe leave Tristan because at this point it was an embarrassment or did Tristan leave or did Chloe did Chloe leave Tristan because Tristan became an embarrassment? Or did Chloe leave Tristan because she knew the story was gonna come out? And either way, she was gonna look a damn fool. Chloe, I told you on this show, I know they said that I was being wrong. I said you're not the fat girl with insecurities anymore. And I'll go on the record to say that you should have dead this relationship. I ain't even gonna say the rest of that because you know where I'm going. Like you know who. But either way, now that it's over, so we can't confirm whether or not how it all went down because we have yet to have our moment with Chloe. But however, we did have a conversation with the Kardashians team and we did ask to speak to Chloe and we do plan to talk to Chloe. Just know that that plan is happening. So we appreciate the conversation.